Right, Grant, you've you've come out and you've you've said I saw your Twitter account over the last couple of days that you've uh, you're coming away from the national side a little bit and you're concentrating more on your your, your football here at Peterborough United and also your, your your family life. Talk us through the decision. Um, I, I actually thought about it about six or seven months ago. Um, I'd spoken to my only then and uh, sort of I come to the decision that probably wasn't the best time for to do it. Um, so I knew I'd been thinking about it for a while, but. Um, after the last game uh, and not coming on and stuff like that, it wasn't so much throwing the toys out of the pram, it was that I had been thinking about it for a while, but I just feel as if it's time now for me to, you know, when you're away for a week from the club, you come back in on Friday and you've missed all the preparations for the games, you know, I hadn't felt as well as I could have done on Saturday in the game against Oldham. Um, not believing that had anything to do with the training at Northern Ireland, but just because you've been away from the group all week and you've missed vital parts of, of the thing. and. The next two qualifiers are uh, a double header, and um, I'm going to be away for the best part of two weeks, which is not ideal. And it's missing games for Peterborough as well. Um, the reason why I didn't do it last time I spoke to him is because we're in the championship and I wasn't missing games. But it's completely different now. We're going to be missing games from the club. Uh, you know, you're, you're coming back, not going, not think, don't know whether you're going to be in the team or not. And I just think it's the right, the right, the right time for me now. Um, I've got a young family. Um, you know, I'm doing a bit of coaching with the 15s, and I'll be missing sessions with them. <coughs> it's just, it's just a lot to take on at the minute, and I just something had to give, and I think that was the, that was the, the main thing for me to do. And you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the decision, but it was a really hard decision for me to, to turn me back on my country after 12, 13 great years. Um, but I'll still be, a, you know, I'll still be a massive fan of them. Hopefully, I can get to the games uh, if we've ever get a day off or anything like that, I can go over to the games and, and watch them and support them, but now I just want to wish, uh, wish them all the best and wish Mike Bonney all the best for the future. Talk us through your new coaching role, because that was uh, offered to you within your contract, your new deal that you've signed with uh, with Posh. Uh, is, is Was it the right time for yourself, did you think, listen, this is the time to to maybe think of the future a little bit?